Hello guys, Ajit here and uh, in this tutorial we are going to create a sudo user in Ubuntu instance. So I already have a test instance ready which is an Ubuntu based instance. So we will be creating a sudo user which would be able to uh, run commands with sudo permissions. So let's go ahead. First, we need to SSH into the required server. Okay, so here is our open server. Now, uh, the very first thing is that uh, the user by which we are logged in is Ubuntu, and uh, we need to be root or we can use sudo command to create a user so we'll be using add user command uh, we can use it uh, either with sudo for ubuntu user or we can log in as root so add user and we'll be creating a user ajit so it prompts me for the password so I'm giving the simple password for this it asks me to retype it okay now it is asking me uh, for the details like full name room number etc so I'm not gonna give all these things as of now and I'm skipping all these things and at the end say yes okay so the user has been created now uh, we'll be adding this user to sudo group so uh, sudo group has uh, access to sudo by default so we'll be adding this user to sudo group with command user mode sudo is the group and ajit is the user so we have added the user uh, now let's go ahead and change our user to ajit sorry command is su okay we are logged in as ajit so let's try to run ls and on the root directory it says permission denied so we need to run it with sudo and it is asking me the password for now when i give the password uh, the command is successful to avoid this prompt of password while using sudo uh, you can do two things first let's exit from this user and let's go back to root you need to add the sudo as file which can be opened with vi sudo the file which we are going to edit is sudo as file so here it is and this can be edited by vi sudo so the default editor is nano and if you see here for the sudo group it's all all that means you can uh, run all commands of the user in this group and uh, there is no settings for password that is why it is prompting for the password and uh, at the end if you see there is another directory that is being included in this that is uh, that is inside sudoers.d so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to edit the uh, sudoers.d directory which have this 90 cloud init users so let's go, let's go in this if you see we have created a user ajit so let's write it for it so what we are saying is for user ajit allow all commands to run with no password that means it won't ask for the password uh, the same setting you can do for uh, you can do it in sudoverse file as well 
for that sudo group but uh, we are not doing it for the group we are doing for this particular user so let's go ahead and Uh, we have set the file uh, now if we again change the user to Ajit and uh, if we try to run the command ls on root directory then it should not prompt for the password hooray so it has not prompted for the password so this is how you can uh, create a user on Ubuntu instance and uh, one more thing we are going to do is uh, we will be adding uh, the public key of mine and the authorized key file so that I can uh, SSS to this instance using a Jeet user. So as of now there is no SSS directory so I am gonna make one and uh, I will be making a file inside this directory authorized underscore keys so here's my public key I'll be adding this public key in this file now what I need to do is set the proper permission for uh, SSS directory and authorized key so I'm gonna give the permission to SSS directory and the authorized key file okay we are done with this now hopefully we should be able to SSH into it with the user Ajit so the IP for this is oops my bad over to add this and here we are so if I make a file it should be here also here it is so this is how you can create a user add it to sudo group and uh, you can deny the prompt for the password and uh, this is how you can add your key to uh, for the particular user and use that user for the SSH so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning keep sharing